Uh, and since I have a couple of friends on Facebook who are really into the saltwater hobby, figured I'd uh, show this. This is a rose anemone. They, uh, in the wild and in captivity, they split themselves in half by just ripping themselves apart. But instead of waiting for them to do it on their own, you can actually, you know, take a big knife and just cut them in half. So, these things sell for a good amount of money, so if you split them yourself, you can sell them for profit. Okay, now that I have it situated, I don't know if you can see this, but this part right here is its mouth. And underneath of that, it's got a foot, which it uses to attach itself to the rock. So what you want to do is have the foot positioned directly under the mouth, so that when you cut it like this, you have a part of the foot and the mouth on each half. So that way it can grow itself back together. So once you find the center of the mouth, you just take a very sharp knife, put it right on the middle, and cut. Alright, here we go with the cut complete. You can see part of the mouth on each side. That's what you want to go for or it won't be able to heal itself back together or eat. So after you have your cuts made, you want to take them. They're extremely slimy and hard to get a hold of. And put them in a bucket of water. You can kind of see here, that's half of the foot on the one piece. And you can see the half of the foot on the other piece. They do stick to your hand because they sting, so that's them digging into your fingers. You can see how it wants to grab onto me. So you want to give them just a couple minutes to get all the slime off of them. Once they're cleaned up, you can put them right back in the tank and they'll attach themselves to the rock. And they will circle back around and you'll have two new anemones. And here they are back in the tank. It's probably hard to see with the lights and my stupid shrimp keep messing with them. Uh, clownfish playing in one.